Hello, everyone. My name is Karligash Adamova. Today, I'm going to present you my piloting study, which is a work in progress, and it is titled as Investigating the Patterns of Syntactic Complexity, Predicting High Quality Writing, a corpus-based piloting study of the written text production at the B2 plus English language exam at a Hungarian university. First of all, let me introduce you the major aim of the study. I want to explore syntactic complexity of second language writing and identify the predictive patterns of syntactic complexity for writing quality characterized by the syntactic complexity variables. Therefore, uh, there are two uh, research questions that lead my study. Uh, the first one is, what are the predictive patterns of syntactic complexity for writing quality characterized by the syntactic complexity variables of high rated and low rated texts? Uh, the second one is what are the predictive patterns of syntactic complexity for writing quality characterized by score levels assessed by human ratings? Um, now let me introduce you the um, basic language examination which stands at the center of the study uh, the basic language examination is aimed to prove that uh, the students have achieved the b2 plus level of english and it's the uh, obligatory step for all english majors at the hungarian university it consists of four parts um, at the written text production part, the students are asked to choose the topic and write up to 200 words uh, text. Uh, they are usually assessed on uh, four basic characteristics, including task achievement, coherence and cohesion, grammar and vocabulary. Uh, therefore, the uh, analytic uh, rating scheme is used as a scoring rubric for this examination. Uh, if we turn to the methodology of the study, it's the computational analysis with the implementation of the multidimensional analysis tagger and the co-metrics. About the variables, I'd like to say that uh, the MAT tagger uh, helps us to uh, investigate the analysis <coughs> of 67 grammatical variables. And uh, another important variable for this study is syntactic structure similarity index. Uh, this index shows us the degree of variability uh, used in the written text and also uh, the syntactic richness. And finally, the grammar points are all involved in this study. If we talk about the expected results, uh, I would like to identify significant correlations between the selected grammatical variables and the grammar points. I would also like to identify the features that can serve as predictive patterns of second language writing quality. Uh, it's impossible not to talk about the challenges, and among them is uh, the size of the corpus. Uh, despite the fact that this is only the balloting study, and um, there are 14 texts that were selected for the study. Um, but, um, the size of the corpus is definitely matters in the research. Um, but in this case, I haven't just randomly selected them. Uh, I have um, categorized them into two, two groups with the highest grammar points and the, with the lowest grammar points. That's why uh, the number is 14. And the second challenge is the accuracy of the automated measurements. I would like to emphasize that before doing this piloting study, I have um, tested a lot of uh, computational tools and even the creators of syntactic complexity analyzers uh, highlight that uh, the uh, accuracy of the automated measurements can never be 100% and finally, the concluding remarks, uh, I would like to say that uh, syntactic complexity is a highly complex concept which can draw different dimensions of the construct. And um, it's important that in determining the syntactic complexity of written text as second language proficiency component, it's crucial to carefully examine the scoring rubric 
and also the descriptors. Uh, and uh, it's also important to investigate the role of complexity measures in rate decisions. So we need to look what are those features significant for uh, decision-making process. And finally, the manual analysis uh, also uh, facilitates the study and may enlighten significant findings. Um, this is um, briefly uh, all the issues that were covered in my study. I hope it was useful and interesting.